You're such an asshole. Hey, Claire Meister. Please keep me anonymous. I will. Do you know any practical methods, thoughts, rules, or techniques to stop chasing women? Uh, background, I'm a ripe 23 year old and I've realized that I believe I have a slight addiction to chasing women. I believe this is due to a couple of factors. Yeah, you're 23 years old and you're male. One, of course, being my age with my testosterone re levels, I work out on an average about seven to eight hours a week of intense weight lifting and try my best to eat as healthy as I can. I am by no means a soy boy to the mentality that I have developed as a result of never being brought up to naturally be successful with women. I have never even been on a date with a girl until the age of 20 when I discovered the pickup community and realized I have to change and actually work on myself. That's, a, that's one of the biggest accomplishments you've had. And some most feminists have never discovered that. Oh my God, I got to become what other people want me to be. Uh, well, this is a good mindset to have when first learning to communicate with women in the long run. Having amazing pickup skills isn't really all that women are after. I have now realized if you are broke, out of shape, a loser, all the pickup skills in the world aren't really going to be enough on average to sleep with beautiful women. Correct. The problem is if you come from a pickup player mindset, the idea is to date and or talk to as many women as you can. It's not the problem. That's what it is. It's a numbers game. I mean, you can boost your numbers with lifting weights and all that other stuff, but it's a numbers game. Uh, of course, it's become a, of course, this becomes a problem when you're trying to accomplish other goals as dating lots of women is a huge time investment. It is. It certainly is. Imagine what it was like before the interwebs. Oh, swipe, swipe. oh my God, I had to swipe. And oh my God, we had to drive out when it was 10 degrees and wait in line to get into a club where it was loud and smoky. As much fun as I've had lately, I believe this mindset I developed as a result of my time practicing pickup is limiting me in other areas of my life and would like to get rid of this seeming obsession with chasing tail. I would love your thoughts and suggestions. Thanks. And of course, the fucking car alarm of some fucking, thank God. All right. So I had some questions. I said, so you are addicted to asking women out or you are addicted to the sex you're getting? Or is that you? Or is it that you can't turn it off and not ask girls out regardless of whether you have sex with them or not? Uh, also, what are these other goals in life chasing women prohibiting is God, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm tired. Also, what are these other goals in life chasing women is prohibiting you from attaining? College, career, finances. What kind of environment are you in? Are there a ton of women around you that just feel compelled, that you feel compelled to ask out all the time? Uh, I says, uh, right, so I believe my addiction probably lies more with asking them out because even if I go on a dry spill and not get sex for a while, I continue to chase them. My other goals are really advancing my IT career, which I know means I have to study more certifications and constantly be improving my skill set. I recently started my first job outside of college as an IT help desk position. While I'm glad I was actually able to find my find a job in my career, as I know a lot of college kids cannot upon graduation. While I'm glad I was actually able to find a job in my career, as I know a lot of college kids cannot upon graduation, part of me knows that I that had I focused more on school by improving my GPA, studying hard, etc., I probably would have been able to get a much better position than just help desk. Yeah, if, you're, if your GPA suffers because you're chasing tail, you're just going to be a price to pay. Now, I'm not saying I'm a victim, but I really wish I had not been sort of tricked into this pickup community where there's an emphasis on always approaching girls and going on dates constantly, whereas improving wealth, status, and looks all in all will give you much better results with women. Correct, true. I mean, you st it's still a numbers game, but yeah, you can't just be approaching them with shit. Uh, aside from that, my fitness goals, which also have select a slight bit just because, of course, going on dates take up time. There aren't a ton of women around me anymore now that I'm out of college to see I live in. I don't think there's a ton of pretty women to choose from. As a result, it's probably a factor in why I have to invest more. I have to invest more time in actually looking for dateable women. The best solution I can think of is to limit myself to maybe one to three girls and keep them as girlfriends. Um, okay. <clears throat> It's like any other drug, although I, I find it hard to imagine that you're addicted not to the sex, but the habit of approaching women. Um, because you've conditioned your mind to get into this habit. It's a good habit to have. There's nothing wrong with, ha like, look, you're not like these fucking soy boy boys. Oh, do I talk to a girl? I mean, you actually go and approach. So you've eliminated the fear. You've established courage. You can approach a woman and get shot down. You've inured yourself to getting shot down. So that's that's one of the huge um, hurdles. 
But just like anything else, like I don't even want to call it addiction, but habits. Now, what was a good habit or a good skill to have has become a bad habit because it is preventing you from pursuing other things in life that in the long run, you are correct, even in the medium and short term run, will help you get girls with less effort, with less effort. Not a lot, still gonna have to put a lot of effort into it, but less effort. So what I would do is, you know, just have, you don't ask out girls. Which, to the outside observer, seems pretty easy. Like, what, dude, you don't have to ask out girls? Dude, that's like a fucking joy. <laughs> you could sit and read books and do what you want and take it easy and not get stressed, but you've been so conditioned to do it. Like working out, perhaps. I know some people, if they don't work out, they get antsy. So you're just going to have to, like, not ask girls. Like, you know, go a month without asking out girls. Go, go two months without asking out girls and just... That right there, you just commit, you know, put the egg timer on for two months. I'm not asking out any girls for two months. And you work out and you focus on school or upgrading your, your skills and certifications. Um, maybe develop some other hobbies you want to do, your diet. It allows you to focus on you and you just take a take a vacation. Just take a vacation uh, from asking all these girls. And then in that two months time, you'll have developed, I don't want to say better habits, but different habits that are more beneficial to you and your goals, life goals in terms of non-girl related goals. And then hopefully that will cement it, your your habits will be established, and then you can reintroduce asking all girls again. Um, you, you just, you know, don't go out to the nightclubs, you're not doing, you know, delete your Tinder apps or your, your whatever social media apps you're using to date nowadays. And you just do you for the next month and a half. I mean, if the, the goddess of your dreams walks through the door, sure, fine, but it's not going to happen. Um, and then just, yeah, and then you'll have like a new normal, and that base in your body and your psychology and your brain will be used to it. And then like, oh, okay, maybe. And then just ask out less girls. It's not that hard. I, I don't know. Maybe you are genuinely addicted to it. Um, but it should be easier to not ask out that many girls. Uh, and dude, it's it's a lot nicer when you don't care. I mean, it, getting older, when that testosterone goes down, you're just like, eh, I, uh, I could ask a girl out, or I could golf. I think I'm gonna go golf. I could ask a girl out, or I, I could just stay at home and play Breath of the Wild. I could just stay at home and sleep. And then, yeah, as you, as you get older and testosterone goes down, you're just kinda like, eh, yeah, 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 no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here at this uh, patio and enjoy the summer and just listen to music. All right, so that's it. Just make yourself go on a hiatus from women for a month or two. See if that doesn't reset your brain and you're not worked up and worried about this anymore. And then, you know, don't don't give up the skill and your courage that you developed. Just playing, uh, not playing game, delivering game um, into the level that you did. That's great. You've, you've learned not only some great skills, but you've conditioned yourself to have courage and be fearless and not, not fret rejection. So don't lose. I don't think you'll ever lose. I don't think any guy ever loses it. Where it's like once you once you understand what women shoot you down, it's like meh, yeah. And you're like meh. That's like riding a bicycle. Uh, but yeah, then then maybe a girl a week. You know, start slow. Ask out a girl a week. Um, you know, sometimes your environment won't even allow you to ask out a girl a week because there's just not that many. And the town you mentioned, yeah, I don't see a lot of hot chicks in that town. I just don't. All right, that's it. You guys got questions? Cappy's got answers. Assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.